Hello there, this is Fahad from The Designer's Law. Today we are gonna create this solo movie poster. When I watched the movie, I had this idea. I wanted to bring the old and the new solo together. Imagine a movie with two solo. Don't you think that's gonna be awesome? So without any further ado, let's unsolo the solo. Okay, now we are in the magical world of Photoshop. Let's quickly show you my idea for this poster. My idea is really simple. I will place the new and the old solo here since they are the main subject and some other characters here and there. At the top I will probably add some planets and ships. Very simple right? Okay now I will start adding our subjects. First I am gonna add the old and the new solo, Harrison and Alden. I will probably give an old vibe to this poster so I need to keep that in mind. Since they are the main subject of this poster so they need to be a standout. Next I will bring... What was that? I will place him here. Next I will add Khaleesi, I mean Kira. For some reason I wanted to add the old Lando. I'm sorry Donald Glover. Also I will add L3. And Fist Nest is kinda cute so I'm gonna add her but with the helmet on. Next I will add the bad guys on the other side. First I will add Jabba. I have a hard time fitting him in this poster. You gotta go to the gym Jabba. Next I will add Beckett and Voss. Adding a stormtrooper might be a good idea. So there are all the characters I wanted to add. Next I will create the ground. For that I will use this image. For the sky I will use few images and blend them together. I will probably use 4 sky for this. I wanted to give a yellow orange-ish look like the original poster. So I will use photos which are suitable for that. I think I can add some mountains at the back. Although this won't be that visible for the characters but it will be there. Next I will add moon and some planets. It's not earth so there will be multiple of them. I can change the blend mode so only the moon will be visible. I will do the same for the other planets. A solo poster is not complete without the falcon. Also I will add some other ships so that it looks like they are chasing the falcon. I need to reposition them before going to our next step. I thought I'm gonna add these two ships but I guess they don't fit well here. I grouped them just to organize things. Ok now we will try to match our subjects with the background. I will do that with some check layers and then I will use some curves, levels or hue saturation adjustment layer to match with the background. We did this so many times in this channel. You can watch these videos for more information. Now it's time to add the shadows. Right now it looks like they are floating. I will create a light source behind our subjects so I need to create the shadows according to that. I will create few layers for different types of shadows. There we go, much better. Next I will add the highlights. For that I need solid color. I will pick something orange and change the blend mode to linear dodge. Then invert the mask and now paint with white. I will create one soft highlights and the other one will be relatively strong. Also I want to add some highlights between two characters. This will make some distances from one character to the other. And I have to do that for each of them. Next I'm gonna add some smokes and particles to blend the ground with the mounting. If you follow this channel, you probably saw me using smokes and particles in most of my photo manipulation videos. Next I will add these big light rays at the back. I think this will give us the old movie poster vibe. Next I will add some blur. This should look good. Not much, just a bit. And finally I will go to the camera filter and this is my final result. I added the title and made some small changes. I wanted to keep the title similar to the original. I have two different versions of this title. I think the white one gives the old vibe more than the black one but the black one looks more cooler. Let me know which one you prefer. You can find both of them in our Instagram or Facebook page. Also at the top I added this double trouble text. I think I need to go for something better but for now that's okay. It's just for fun you know. Ok so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then please subscribe my channel. It really helps me to create new videos for you. You just need to click that red subscribe box. That's it. And don't forget to like, share and hit the ring button. I will see you on next week. Thank you so much for watching this video.